everyone, welcome back. For those who are new here, welcome. My name is Abigail, or Abby, Sanse, Abigail Nisi Casson in Northern Michif. I am 26 and autistic and love talking about autism stuff. So this is where I do that. So I missed yesterday again. Oops, I got off work and got busy playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon with a friend over Discord until bedtime. So, gonna do yesterday's prompt, get dinner, then do today's, and we are starting at 9 p.m. Oops again. So, yesterday's prompt was, if you could give advice to someone who just found out that they are autistic, what advice would you give? And, funnily enough, my therapist just said in our last session, I should try writing letters to myself. So... I figure I'll just do this advice for someone who just found out in that format and get practice with the writing letters to myself at the same time. See how that goes. So, dear younger me, congratulations. You have finally gotten the answer you've been looking for for your entire life. You can finally start healing. Don't let all of those statistics about employment, divorce, and other things scare you. Don't believe them. This does not confirm your lifelong fear that you are a failure and disappointment and the source of all of the problems for everyone else around you. What this does mean is that you now you can better understand everything that you've experienced for your whole life. Yes, it really sucks that this came so late. Maybe things would have been easier in some ways if you hadn't been missed and dismissed as too high-functioning as a child. But it's okay. You know now, and that's what matters. Now you can find better coping skills and begin to understand why you are the way you are. You will find so many new words and terms and terms that explain pretty much everything about your entire life and how you experience the world. Stimming, executive dysfunction, meltdowns and shutdowns, sensory processing issues, and so much more. You are going to find so many amazing and helpful people on Tumblr, and you are going to begin to see just how much potential you actually have. Your dreams may change, but that's okay. Your old dreams were rooted in trying to hold yourself up to a standard that wasn't fair to you, and your new dreams will be just as, if not more, beautiful than the old ones. Yes, it is hard to let go of ideas that you got attached to, especially when you built your entire life around them. But that wasn't you, not your authentic self. That was the version of you that you built for the people around you. That journey of self-discovery won't be easy and it will hurt and I don't know how long it will take because I'm still in the thick of it. But I can see light at the end of that tunnel and I know it is worth it. People will be cruel, even people that you trusted for years. You won't always understand why, and that's going to hurt too. But there will still be people who love and accept, who love and support and accept you and want you in their lives. You do belong. You do fit in. You will find your communities and your place. Learn from other autistic people. They understand what you're dealing with, and those connections will be amazing. You'll make new friends. Trust your instincts. You're smarter than you realize. Yes, it is a lot to process now, but this is good. This will help you. You're going to be okay. Better than okay, even. You will look back on this day as the day that you were handed a new start on life. I promise. Sincerely, me. Anyway, uh, that's it for yesterday's prompt. I'm going to go get dinner and be back again in a bit with today's. Thanks for watching and I will see you again later. Marcy Kavitatmian. Bye.